Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Today I sat down with you guys. I had the urge and like the need and want to film today. I just wanted to play with the makeup. So this one kind of went a little awry. Oh, I wouldn't say awry. This was not a planned video. I'm not really reviewing anything. If you are looking to watch this video, I think it's just because you want to recreate this makeup look that I've created, or maybe you want to see an option of how to use the Narcissist Wanted Palette. I have used this in a recent video. I use it for the first time ever in a date night get ready with me that I uploaded not that long ago I will put it up on the screen be sure to check that out after this video I'm going away next week Mike and I are going to California we're gonna go to Napa and San Francisco and we're gonna drink lots of wine and have so much fun I sat here and was thinking like what products am I thinking about bringing on vacation I wanted to see how they're meshing with my face considering we're leaving in three days my skin will most likely fingers crossed be the same because it's not very temperamental right now so I just wanted to see what it is I was gonna pack and also in case you missed my little not really announcement it's nothing really exciting so I won't I'll say announcement but not really announcement I'm doing my own makeup for my wedding next June and I wanted to test out some products that I thought were good contestants like this NARS radiance long wear foundation that I've been such a fan of but it's been a while since I used it so I wanted to get it back in the lineup test it out try it out see if it's as amazing as it's always been and as i remember and just practice my wings liner i think i might wear a wings liner on my wedding day i just but i need to perfect it it's something that i need to practice so a lot of practice a lot of like thoughts behind this video that i said seemingly has no meaning so in all reality it does there is a lot of thought that went into this video without me even realizing it i went through this whole video and just realized that right now just playing playing practicing for my wedding for hopefully doing other people's makeup for their wedding and so on and so forth so yeah i've done a lot of babbling but you guys there's a lot to look forward to in this video so do be sure to keep on watching if you have not yet subscribed please be sure to do so and click that bell button this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a new video here on my channel so without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to my playtime feel good sunday sit down makeup tutorial um, i am tired it is sunday i just woke up from a nap and i feel like I'm getting a little stuffy. My ear keeps popping. I really hope I'm not getting sick because Mike and I are going to Napa next week and San Francisco, we're going to California for a week. And if I get sick, I'm gonna be mad. So I need to drink water. Um, I just wanted to do this, get ready with me. I feel like I have been stressing out about makeup and me doing makeup and me doing my makeup for the wedding. So I feel like I just need to practice more makeup and practice and practice and practice. And I just wanted to do something that was like, light feminine simple today but just like pretty and beautiful and something that you could wear any day every day any night you could pump it up with a lip give it a more va va boom and i just wanted to try out some products that i have been meaning to play a little bit more with so i'm going to prime my face i washed my face and i did moisturize it using my exuviance daily a moisturizing cream that is spf 30 but i'm going to go in with this tart clean slate smoothing primer it's like a whipped primer i'm gonna grab some of this and i'm gonna press this into the areas where my pores are a little bit bigger so for most people that is in your t-zone i just feel like i need to get more content out there i feel like i need to just be practicing makeup as often and as much as possible having a full-time job in community to the city is so time consuming that really the only time i ever have to play with makeup is on the weekends. NARS primer, radiance primer. And I'm gonna put this around the perimeters of my face. Anywhere I want extra glow. In hindsight, I probably should have put the NARS one on first and then the tart over it, but it's fine. For foundation today, I'm gonna use the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear because it's been a hot minute since I've worn this and this has been my favorite foundation for as long as I can remember, but it's been a hot minute since I tried it. I found my slate, finally. Ever since I raved about it, I haven't used it because I couldn't find it. I'm gonna take about a full pump of that, pick it up with my brush, and I'm pushing it into the skin. I'm in makeup school, if you didn't know. I did mention it in a vlog a couple weeks ago. It's going well, I just need to practice on people's faces, and I don't know why. I'm putting like so much pressure on myself that it's like 
painful. I'm not wearing any earrings today, which is really weird, especially when I'm filming. I always throw a pair of earrings on, but the other day I had so much foundation on my earrings when I was filming, it annoyed me. And I think I just like subconsciously didn't put earrings on today. That is one layer. I'm just gonna keep it light today and I'll build up the coverage with my Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. And I'm gonna blend this in with an Eco Tools sponge just because I like how this concealer lays down a little bit better with the sponge. And I'm bringing what's ever left on top of my forehead. Hmm. I feel like on my wedding day, I need to use an under eye, like a corrector underneath my concealer. So that's definitely something to note going forward. Not that this is like a bridal trial. I just, these are just the things I'm thinking as I'm getting closer to the wedding. Like what products do I like? What am I noticing? How can I perfect it a little bit more? So that's definitely one of them. Just to blend out a little bit more, I'm gonna take the bigger Eco Tool sponge and both of my sponges are damp. And if you ever need a, your sponge to be a little bit wetter, you can always use your makeup setting spray. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of this, more of a continuous setting spray. And this is just gonna sheer it out. If you go in with nothing on the sponge, it's just gonna pick up any of the product that your skin doesn't necessarily need. I hate my crusty lips. But now that I have foundation on, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my NYX. I notice that sometimes when I put this on first, which is what I usually do, when I'm blending out my foundation, it kind of like mixes into that around my mouth and then the base of my makeup lays weird around my mouth. So I do wanna go ahead and throw this on now. I'm just gonna take a spoolie and I'm just brushing my brow hairs up. Oh, I really wanna try this and this might be an awful idea, a fail, um, but this is the Glossier Brow Flick. I have spoken about this product on my channel before, but I don't think I've used it on camera. This is like a felt tip eyeliner. And what you do is you create hair-like strokes with the felt tip and depending on how hard you press. So there I pressed like a, a decent amount. I press a little lighter. You know, I, I don't know. Clearly I'm not very good at it which is why I'm very nervous to do this, but it's like a very light eyeliner and it has a flick, like an eyeliner flick. And I think if your brows are not similar and they're like very different and you're all in all either having to restructure one or like totally restructure the both of them because you have little to no brows, like this is a pretty hard product to do it, but I think that if you take the time to learn how to do it and master it, it'll look bomb. And you just wanna feather like hair-like strokes like you would with a typical brow pencil. I think the trick with this, although I haven't really been able to get it down packed yet, is to really just fill in where you need to. This is not like, if you're one of those people that you just fill in your brow and you make it really dark and you basically color it in, this is not the kind of product for you. You wanna put like the lightest pressure, I feel like. Okay, they're real bushy and a lot, as they always end up being. I just, I don't. I'm gonna take my Tarte Tape Sheet on my little pan guy, put some on there like that. Take a flat guy like this, and I'm just gonna shape them. Then I'm gonna go over the hollows of my eye. It's like where that you can really see the divot underneath my eye of darkness, the divot of darkness. Sponge and I'm just gonna pat this all out. So basically it took all that time just to have big bushy brows. Ardell Glam to wearing contour stick because when do I use anything else, quite honestly. I'm gonna put some under the lips. Take my Eco Tool sponge, the small one, and I'm just gonna pat this into my skin. 
but I just like it gives such a natural contour and it's so cheap this product it's crazy honest beauty cream cheek blush in the shade peony pink I don't know Tati talks about this all the time and I went on Amazon when she first mentioned it a while ago and it was sold out and it's been sold out for the longest time and then yesterday no a couple days ago I just so happened to check and it was available so I got it off Amazon I'm gonna pick this up with my sponge I think just pat this onto the cheeks and I'm blending it like into my contour kind of like where I'd put my highlight as well Wow, this is so pretty. It's like a really natural, like, flush. I'm gonna put some down my nose. Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Small Eco Tool Sponge, and I'm gonna use the flat sides. I'm gonna use this to set my under eyes, but I'm gonna take my brush and just make sure none of the concealer is sitting in those fine lines. Do the sides of my nose. This helps to make the nose contour a little bit more prominent and make sure nose look a little bit thinner and snatched take some more and i'm just going to chisel out that contour i'm going to leave this on for like literally a minute i'm not going to bake that long while that's sitting there i do want to go ahead and put some, a little bit more bronzer on so i'm going to take my bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer in the shade golden gal i love this stuff it's so pretty stippling brush this is a mikasa f200 I'm just gonna go over the contour. I find that this kind of brush just like fluffs it on a little bit more natural. Wow, I feel like my skin looks really good right now. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off that beak. Let's go into the eyes. I wanna use my NARS Wanted Palette. I just want to do something really light, pretty, and fun. I think that's what I want to go for today. We'll see where we land because Lord Jesus knows I say that. And then I end up looking like full-faced, smoky eye, going to the club and, you know, staying out till 3 a.m. So let's see where we end on this. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And I'm just going to use this on a fluffy brush to just set the lid because I didn't set the lid yet. Going in with a lighter base, like a shadow, is really gonna help to brighten up the eye a little bit, so I feel like that'll be useful for any brides out there too, or just anyone who's gonna be in pictures. I'm gonna use that same blending brush. I'm gonna go in with this terracotta shade right here. It's kind of terracotta. It's like a, a nudie brown. The last time I did my eyeshadow, honestly, I feel like this is a really weird thought, but I used this palette and I put way too much shadow on my lid. Like, I think I packed too much shadow. So today I want to do just a softer look. Now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush, M504, and I'm just going to go over this really lightly. I'm going to take a pencil brush from Morphe. I'm going to grab this really pretty shade right here. I'm going to put this underneath the lid. That same shade, I'm going to put it on my inner corner. Blending that out. I want a really soft look, and I think that's why I'm just going to blend the shit out of this today. I'm going to go in with this green, and I'm going to put this on the lid. I'm gonna go in with a tighter blending brush. I wanna grab the darker brown right here. I just wanna put this in the outer third of the eye. I'm just like wiggling it in here. Cause I wanna deepen this outer third just a little bit. Give a little bit more dimension. Back in with the blending brush. Go in with that same fluffy brush. I'm going to grab this original brown, the first brown we went in with. I'm just putting that underneath the eye. I'm going to go back in with the pencil brush. I'm going to take this color right here. I'm going to put this underneath, like right here. And then for the remainder of the eye, I'm going to hop into the darker brown. 
cap that off and I think I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this brown as well and just put that to the outer third of the eye I think I want to bring that green in a little bit further down the eye I'm gonna take this brush I love this brush for like this arch in the inner corner this is a JH 42 just like a really flat brush I'm gonna pick up that green and I'm gonna bring it to that inner third, the inner corner of the eye. See how that just like brightens it up so much? I'm gonna just spray it really quick. Grab that green again and see if it'll give a more like foiled look. Yeah. I wanna use the same brush, so I'm gonna wipe that green off a little bit. I'm gonna dampen this one again. I'm gonna go back in with shimmer right here and I'm gonna put that underneath the eye one more time. But I like how sh much shinier it is when it's a little damp. It just like sparkles a little bit more. Blending brush one more time. Ever so lightly over all of it just because I really don't know why I did this to myself But I want to destroy this look by throwing on an eyeliner That's what I'm gonna do dark brown the rock. Let's see if this works. I Don't think this is gonna go well So I don't really know why I'm doing this. This is gonna end terribly I'm shocked that that doesn't look that bad. This is the Stila smudge Kajal an espresso. Why am I shaking this? I don't know. But I'm going to put this on the waterline and kind of push it between the brows. This way my lash line looks a little thicker. My first wing is always okay because this eye is just always an easier wing for me. I don't know. My eyes are shaped differently. Okay. It's not that weird. A lot of people have the same problem. One eye is a lot more hooded than the other one. I don't know. It's just trash. Okay. I'm going to curl these lashes just on this eye though i'm gonna use my collab the works wow effect all-in-one mascara this mascara wand i think they filled it to the brim with product it's like constantly drenched in mascara it's like an overkill so it's definitely gonna last me forever but sometimes it makes a mess on my eyes and it's just it's such a nice formula but i think i got a faulty one and I'm really getting the lashes from the root because I want them to look thick and full. I'm gonna take a dead mascara that has no mascara in it and just run it through my lashes. I really like this wand to separate the lashes. This is a great mascara, L'Oreal Telescopic, but this wand makes them like wispier. I'm gonna put some on the lower lash line. So happy with it, it's so pretty. I just, I love the green and the bronzy shades. It's perfect for fall such a big fan let's go ahead and finish off the rest of the face i'm gonna use this hourglass arch brow shaping gel it's just a clear gel and i left this brow gel for last because it's gonna help to brush out any of the shadow that may have flown into the brows let's go ahead and mist the face i'm gonna use my morphine continuous setting spray a highlighter i'm gonna go with this makeup forever pro fusion in number one i'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush and just hit this on the high points of my cheeks. Let's move on to the lips. I think I wanna do something a little bit peachier and I think the Flower Beauty lipstick that I used in one of my recent videos is coming to mind. Peachy Nude Cream Lipstick and I just wanna line my lips really quickly. Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I thought Makeup Forever didn't have names. If there's one thing I'm pretty certain about though, I think this is gonna be one of the lip liners, if not the only lip liner, don't judge me, that I wear on my wedding day. It's just so pretty. And my thought is, is that this peach will really pull that green forward in our eyes. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I have to say, I'm really happy with how this came out. I know that this video wasn't like super in depth or maybe even super informative. I didn't review any products today, but I have to say I've been sitting down in my beauty room a lot lately 
and when it's time to film I kind of just have been wanting to sit here and just play with the makeup that I have I think that a lot of that has to do with the fact that I'm now in beauty school and I just really want to be able to play with something and create like art out of my makeup rather than sitting here and talking about a product and whether I approve it or not I mean products are definitely still important the quality of a product really plays a big role in how your makeup turns out in the end so I definitely love makeup I love beauty I love skincare and I'm going to continue to try new things as they hit the market so don't make I don't want it to sound like that's it and I'm done buying new makeup I'm definitely not but I'm just like more in the creative space right now I'm having fun just picking up my brushes and seeing what happens so I think if you take anything away from this video not only is this the perfect makeup for fall not only did my brow flick come out the best it's ever come out pats and snaps to myself but this NARS Wanted palette takes the cake for me. I love this. This has really become my new go-to palette. And like I said, Mike and I are going to California next week and I'm very sure positive that this is the only eyeshadow palette I'm going to bring with me. It's just so beautiful. It's versatile. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. This is limited edition. It was gone for at least six months. Honestly, I highly doubt they're gonna restock it again once it goes out. I'm actually thinking about buying a second one, as crazy as that sounds, but that's definitely on the table because I do love this product so much. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of like sit down and just, you know, chill, mellow, get ready with me while just playing with makeup and just being in the makeup, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know that you like this video, that you like this style of video, and also be sure to subscribe and click that bell button. This way you are notified whenever I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mm -hmm.